Imagine not having to leave Final Cut Pro 10 to look for a piece of stock footage, upload your clips to the cloud, or even watch a tutorial. Apple calls this workflow extensions, and it's a portal to some of the best third-party tools available for Final Cut Pro 10 users. There's a new window in Final Cut Pro 10.4.4 that I'm calling the Magic Window. Actually, it's called the Workflow Extension Window, but I'll get to that in a minute. If you look at the toolbar in the upper left of the UI, there's a button that looks like a puzzle piece. By clicking on it, you'll see apps that you've downloaded from the Mac App Store that have been specifically designed to work directly inside of Final Cut Pro 10. Let's take a look at this one from Frame.io. A floating window appears over the Final Cut Pro UI that can be moved around and resized. So why is this magical? Well, I use Frame.io quite a bit for online project collaboration with my buddy Mark. Prior to this window, I would have to launch a separate app or a web browser, but now I have access to the entirety of Frame.io's user interface without having to jump outside of Final Cut. Let's say that I needed to send a few clips to Frame.io for Mark to use as backgrounds for a motion title sequence he's working on. I just click this button, enter a project name, and choose to keep it public or make it private. I'll click Create Project, locate the clips I want to send to Frame.io's cloud, then drag and drop them into the window. Once uploaded, I can open and play them using their online player, then use Frame.io's amazing commenting and annotation tools for Mark to view on his end of the web. I can also go the other way. Let's say I'm working on a project and I need some B-roll clips that my production team is shooting in the field. I'll create an event and name it Vineyard B-roll. Then locate the project they created, then select all the clips I want and drag them directly into my event. The files are downloaded in the background, and soon I'll have full res camera original media to work with in my project. So this window literally is an extension of my workflow, making Final Cut Pro 10 even more connected with important third-party tools. Let me show you another workflow extension, one that we created for learning Final Cut Pro 10. I'll click the Ripple Player icon, and our Getting Started in Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial app appears in the window. You just pick a subject from the menu along the left, and the movie plays in the viewer to the right. You can also resize the window to your liking, placing it anywhere that's convenient for following along. This app is free and will be available on the Mac App Store, hopefully by the time you're watching this. We have big plans for bringing even more of our tutorials into the extension window, so stay tuned. One last one I want to show you is one from Shutterstock. I'll click the extension button to call up the window. Shutterstock is an online stock media library that sells photos, videos, motion graphics, music, and more for licensed use in your projects. I use Shutterstock almost exclusively for all my photos, so this plugin will be a huge time saver. By the way, you can have multiple extension windows open at the same time and access them at the bottom of the window menu. I'm going to close them so they aren't in my way. Scrolling toward the bottom of the window, you'll see banners for each category of curated stock content, video, music, and images. I'm looking for a background for a title I'm creating, so I'll open Images, then open the Grunge Collection. I like this one. Clicking the thumbnail reveals a large preview image where I can choose to import a watermark preview into Final Cut Pro or license the image. I'll click Import Preview. In Final Cut Pro, a Shutterstock library is automatically created and the photo is imported into an event labeled Images. By the way, the library is saved into your Home User Movies folder. Oh, this related image is kind of nice. I'll import that one too by clicking the Download button at the lower right of the thumbnail. So now both images are in the event and they both import with keywords applied. When you're ready to purchase the licensed version of a photo or video, Click the Downloads button to see all the media you've either previewed or licensed. I want to license this grunge image, so I'll select it, then click License Image. Shutterstock is a subscription-based service, so you'll need to choose a plan, then confirm the purchase. A new keyword appears in the event labeled Licensed, and selecting it reveals the high-res photo I just purchased. That's pretty slick.